Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It's been more than a month since I got my first MacBook. And if you want to see the unboxing, setup, and the reasons why I got one, I'll link it down in the description box below. So in this video, I will be sharing how I customize my MacBook in a very aesthetic way. And let's also unbox what accessories I got for it. Let's go! So this is what my current MacBook setup looks like. I will show you all the customization I did. It's really simple and very, very very easy to catch up on. So first, let's see here. This is my current wallpaper. I actually downloaded this from a creator. It's from Study with Ara. She is creating this free June wallpaper. So I really love her style in wallpaper. So yeah, I chose this because it's very warm and very cozy. As you can see here in my home screen, there are some widgets I use. I will show you how I did it and how I customized everything. The first one is we have this is the MD clock widget. So what I did is I just right click and then click edit widgets. You can add some widgets here. You can add the battery widget just like me here. I also added one so I can see the battery level of my devices. I also added a Bible verse of the day. I also added this really cute MD clock widget it's a pixel clock one it's actually from md clock there's actually a lot of pixel clocks that you can download for your widgets and this cute cartoon heart is actually from a creator too i downloaded her wallpapers if you've seen one of my iphone 15 pro customization it's, it's actually one of this photo right here i use the app color widget so i just click this one and I'll just edit it through my phone and add this photo right here. So it's really simple. And then I also added this calendar widget just like here at the left. At this right side is my weather widget. I also changed a folder here as you can see at the top. It's a coquette folder that I created from Canva. I'll show you how it's done. So let's proceed to add a folder let's say let's add a instagram there you go so i can edit this one by go to get info i can see it in my finder app so this one there you go i'll just hit copy and click here at the top and command b there you go it's really simple so i actually really love customizing stuff so you can really do a lot in canva too so here are the apps that i've downloaded so far some apps here are actually already pre-installed by apple so i downloaded the messenger app we have CapCut, of course this is my main video editing tool it's actually kind of different from the mobile app it's actually more complicated on the desktop version but there's like a lot of tools that are only present in the desktop app let me show you so it looks like this one this is the CapCut version there's actually a lot of really complicated tools if if you're so used to working with CapCut in the mobile version you might find it overwhelming but that's okay I'm, I'm also still learning using the desktop version that's why i downloaded the desktop version another app is of course canva i have the canva app right here but mostly i just use the browser app it's actually much easier for me so yeah it's just right there and then i also downloaded the wps office i actually don't use microsoft apps that much because you have to pay for it so i i love free stuff so i just downloaded the wps office there's actually a premium version for your wps but i don't really need it this is what i usually use for my day-to-day -day documents next we have the good notes app I actually haven't really tried Good Notes in desktop yet, but I just downloaded it just in case because I want to see how it will look like, how my digital planner look like in a desktop. Next is I also have Flip Clock. So when I do this, a screensaver that you can use for your Mac. 
So it's really, really cool. It looks like this one. And then I also have Gmail for my emails, Netflix, Spotify, Pinterest, Anchor Work. This is actually a speakerphone that I currently have. I have it installed in my desktop as well. I also have the YouTube studio so I can monitor my YouTube analytics. Next is I have the hand mirror. It actually looks like this one. This is actually what it looks like. It's very easy also because it's just on top here that you can see at the top so it's very accessible as well. You can just see yourself before having a meeting or record your content. Next is we have Arc. So this is actually a browser. I actually switched from Safari to Arc because it's really well organized. I know Safari every time you open there's like a lot of tabs. So I switched to Arc because it's very organized. So I'll show you what it looks like. You can create your own folders and add those tabs as well. I have my creative workspace. I also have my personal workspace. It's very organized. I have all the necessary tabs here into folders. So I really love using it. There's also like bookmark here at the top. I have Google, my Pinterest. I have my script, my YouTube scripts. I have ChatGPT here as well my gmail accounts all of this stuff so it's very very organized that's why i switched to art next one is the be focus app so actually this is a timer that you can set so for example if i do some certain tasks this is really gonna be useful you can actually set this one just like here so that you can be really focused on your work i also downloaded a whatsapp application just so that I can access my chats here in my Mac. And the last app is the Loom app. This is actually a screen recording app. This is actually the app that I'm using now so that I can do a screen record while I talk to you guys about the apps that I use here in my MacBook. Alright, so those are the Mac apps that I downloaded in my Mac so far. It's really not that much yet because I only downloaded necessary apps that I really use on the daily. Now let's proceed to some of the customization or features that I've changed so far in my MacBook. Let's go to the settings app. So here in the settings, you can change the appearance. If you prefer light mode, dark mode, or auto, it's actually same if you have an iPhone too. So I just choose light mode because that's what I preferred. And then you can also change the accent color. So of course, I chose pink. So in here, as you can see, it's in the color pink. So you can change that as well here. And of course, the highlight colors, I chose pink too. So if you do a highlight, it's in a color pink so you can choose that in settings as well so next setting is we're going to the desktop and dock so here you can actually change the size of the dock that you want i actually hide my dock when i hover it here i can actually access my dock but if i don't put my mouse there it's actually hidden because i want to see the full screen of my desktop so i prefer it that way what you can do is you can just turn it on here and automatically hide and show the dock so if you don't prefer that it's already there so you can see what the apps look like here at your dock but if you don't want that you can just enable this one and it will keep your dock hidden also as you can see there is a magnification effect it's actually here you can adjust which one you want so if you want like small so once you over there's actually no magnification so it really depends on you. you can also choose the size icons of the dock you want so it's actually here at the top you can also have stage manager turn on so if you also have an ipad you might be familiar with stage manager as well because you can access this feature in your ipad it's actually basically this one i can see my tabs here so I can basically just hover like this and then see my open tabs at the side. can easily access these apps. If you also want to change your wallpaper, it's very easy. You just downloaded an image that you like. You just click this one and just click set desktop picture. That's pretty much it. 
Another feature that I love here under desktop and dock is go to hot corners here at the bottom. Once you click that, you can actually set what appears in your Mac. So for example, here at the left side is you're going to start a screensaver. So once I hover here at the top side, it will start a screensaver like this. Then also here at the top right, it will go directly to my desktop. And here at the bottom left is the launch pad so I can easily access the apps. And here at the bottom right is there's my quick note right there. It's actually useful also if you want to access some of these short and the last one that i'm going to show you is how i change the color of my mouse cursor so it's actually simple just go to accessibility and display and down here is you can change the pointer outline color and the fill color so there's actually a lot that you can choose there's a color wheel here so if you want the mint color or a yellow color so it's actually up to you so you can also change the pointer size that you want. So if you want a bigger one, just like this one, so you can do that as well.
And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys love it. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe for more. See you in my next one. Bye!